Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Enyola Olatunji, and with me is Wasi Wali. This week, we have variety of data coming from different continents, from yeah. the UK to the US to even Nigeria. Yeah. And starting this today, the debt management office will be issuing a 450 billion naira bond wow. across three tranches, which is a new nine-year bond issuance, a five- and seven-year-old issuance, and they are all 150 billion naira each. At the last auction, which was in April, the DMO sold about 626 billion naira worth of bonds. Wow. And that is more compared to what it, it issued in the last quarter, where we saw 2.5 trillion naira worth of bond sales. This this shows that the government had front-loaded its debt. Also, for Nigeria, we expect that OPEC releases its monthly report on oil production. For you, oil production has been on a decline since last month. Yeah. Compared to what it was in January, this is something for this is something to be bothered about. Yeah, it is actually because um, oil production uh, accounts for about ninety percent of our export value. We wow. see we see much um, dollar remittances <laughs> from oil say production. Why oil why oil, oil country? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Nigeria used products. to be the um largest oil producer in africa but there was a reversal in fortune in march wow libya overtook nigeria so libya yeah libya overtook nigeria <laughs> to top as the leading oil production country in africa nigeria recorded 1.23 uh, 1.23 million, million barrels, barrels per day wow. in march the lowest since july 2023 hey. and so with the with the with the, the with the decline in oil production our foreign uh, uh, remittances, our remittances in dollar will certainly decline. Hey, please, please. And so we need, we need, we need, on the Naira. <laughs> we need produ oil production to we ramp need some up sort of fast. intervention. Yeah, some fast. sort of. And OPEC, OPEC highlighted some of the reasons why there, there was a decline in March. One of it is infrastructural deficit, and um, there's a lot of security breaches. You know, oil theft. Oil theft. They are always and, stealing oil. Like, yeah, and I thought we have like oil hiccups. security. Is yeah, yeah. There's there used to be um uh, well there there's, there is NSCDC that um, oversights oil production, oil theft, and you know all of that. But I don't think I they need to step up their games so that we see a, a reduction. I mean, we see more production. In in oil. Oil. We, in need oil. we, we need, need money. We need oil money. We need that oil money. Yeah, oil money. Yeah. So back to Nigeria again. Nigeria yes. will be releasing its um, inflation, inflation figure for, for April. April. Uh, for March, Nigeria Nigeria's inflation rate rose to 33.2%. 2%. 2%. Uh, <laughs> for, for the 15th consecutive month. So that means that even before Tinubu Tinubu's regime, regime yeah. Nigeria has been experiencing a, rock, a skyrocketing inflation. inflation yeah. yeah, so... Um, I mean, dealing with uh, and food of course prices, with, with, with rising inflation, prices. with rising inflation, everything jumps up. Food, everything was you everything. transport, food, I, like nothing is affordable again, and yeah. nothing goes back to previous their previous prices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's really, it's really, it's really it's training. It's training Nigerian pockets. Like, yes, <sighs> yeah, because with, with inflation, you have to buy what you used to buy for say fifteen naira. Now you buy it for one fifty. Petrol used to be 238 naira per liter. Now it is about 600. 600. Now, even with the scarcity, now you buy petrol as much as 800 naira. Huh. So, uh, so quite a lot of things um, you know, happen when inflation is uh, skyrocketing. Okay, back to um, the US. The US will be releasing its consumer price index, of course, inflation yeah. for April. So, what, what should we be expecting? Oh yeah, report. this week the US Fed will be releasing the um Americans inflation price. Yeah. Now last month it was three point five percent. I mean that was in a March mm -hmm. because the data that's com coming out is for April. And what does this mean for us in margin markets? If the US inflation, say from April now, mm. um it's another high record, higher than three point five percent, it means that the Fed, which is their own CBN, will continue to hold rates. Last week at the sixth meeting, he held rate for the sixth time. Wow. And this means that when, once rates are high, their securities are very attractive mm -hmm. to them. They don't need to go to emerging markets to buy emerging market securities. Yeah. And that's not good news for us because 
one we of, need them. Yes, one of our we major, need, our other major, aside from oil, one yeah. of our other major source of um, um, foreign inflows is through foreign portfolio investors foreign and FDIs. But well, if like their rates are high and their securities are attractive, then that means that they will, they will just, not, they will just, they will stay, just in stay in their country and then invest. And in of course, um, I, I read somehow somewhere that um, housing, um, clothes, and energy. Are one of the are part of the things that are yes, those are, are part of the yes, those are part of the driving affording, factors yeah, inflation of in like for US. of the inflation. But in, in Nigeria, US. food food is one of the things. Food contributes fifty percent of yeah. Nigeria's inflation. Okay, yeah, the UK is also going to be releasing unemployment data. Yes. Yeah. So, so what the should UK, we be expecting? Yeah, the UK is going to be releasing unemployment data for March. In February, the UK's unemployment data went up to four point two percent, higher than what it was in January. And as I have said earlier. A lot of these data are very important for emerging market because both the US and UK are our major sources of foreign investors. Yeah. So once their data are very high, that means they also have to increase either hike their rates or hold it at like a very high rate, mm. which means that their securities are attractive to them. Like, why am I coming to stress myself in um, an emerging market where they where most th- likely is not safe? Yeah. When I can easily like, and they're even they're even uh, experiencing uh, fluctuation in their in, in their, their currency. currency. Yeah, so Do you understand? All of this would just, so they were just like, oh, let me just, just let me just off. let me just um, put my money and in that, um, that US even, securities. That even uh, counts that even the UK are experiencing uh, I un- inflation. I, I, I inflation Both the UK, and the US, Nigeria, Nigeria is also experiencing. We're all, all experiencing like very high wow. inflation rates. So it's not peculiar. To it's Nigeria, not peculiar. Yeah, it's not peculiar to Nigeria. Oh, okay. Also, so back to our Naira. Our Naira. <laughs> our Naira. 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 Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Naira is not doing us well. It's not doing us well at all. It's at almost a thousand five hundred Naira per dollar per one dollar. So that means that. If you are, if you have a dollar now, just one of just it, just one of it, it's, you will it's need one thousand five hundred naira. Yeah, it's crazy to think one. about it. It's 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 quite bad. It's quite bad. And for it for for the naira, which was you know one of the top performing currency, it the, it went fast from a top performing currency to the world to the, to the worst performing, <laughs> worst performing currency. currency. In the world. Like, and I, I even read um <laughs> somewhere that um besides naira, Gabian Ghanaian cities. And the local currency for Zambia is also, you know, witnessing such uh, decline. Yeah, a lot of emerging market currencies so, are currently a lot of problem. experiencing that decline because the dollar is really doing well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the dollar so, is strengthening, and most currencies that are against the that are edged against mm, the dollar would tend to do really poorly when the dollar is strengthening. So one of the one of the reasons that is affecting the naira is the rising demand, rising domestic demand for naira. People yeah. are traveling. People are using it for health um, purposes, and all of this are affecting a ma- massive pressure on the naira. We hope that by this week, that by the MPC meeting, meeting next week, next yeah, week, there will be an MPC me- meeting. Will next be week. some miracle. Cardoso will have to perform some miracle mm-hmm. to see the naira, so that the naira will see a rebound. And boy, he had already mentioned that it, uh, the CBN does not intervene in. <laughs> well, we but hope we that, just hope with some miracle, we, hope, we hope that the naira sees a rebound. Sees this a rebound. Week. All right, so for more in-depth analysis on our stories, you can log into our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our platform at BusinessDNG. My name still remains Wasiwali. And I am Enyola Olatinji. See you next week.